Most of us do our best. We throw our beer bottles in the recycling, we reuse containers and cartons, yet our drawers are overflowing with plastic bags. We've become dependent on them, and often we end up using them, then throwing them in the bin. But what happens next? Well, along with the rest of our rubbish, they're taken to a landfill. There they're buried and can take hundreds of years to decompose. Or there's a second scenario, they blow away in the wind. International research shows at least 100 bags escape from landfills every day. But unlike in the film American Beauty, a plastic bag dancing in the wind isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. They can end up in drains, streams and rivers, and almost inevitably the ocean. Each year, up to 100,000 rubbish trucks worth of plastic is carried into the ocean by major rivers. Once there, plastic can look, smell and sound an awful lot like food to fish and marine life. According to a recent international study, more than 100 million marine mammals are killed each year by plastic pollution. In New Zealand, one in three turtles found dead on our shores contain plastic. Meanwhile, seabirds are more likely to ingest plastic in the Tasman Sea than anywhere else in the world. And you know what else can happen to them? They can be ingested by fish that end up on our dinner plates. Plastic is found in the guts of about a third of caught fish. It's found in shrimp and prawns, oysters, mackerel and anchovies too. What's the solution? Here in New Zealand, some of our biggest companies are ditching plastic bags. Coca-Cola, Foodstuffs and Countdown have promised to transition to recyclable packaging. It's just as well, because Countdown, for example, says almost 12 million of its plastic straws go to landfills every year. And now the government has committed to banning plastic bags over the next year. Because if nothing changes, the amount of plastic in the ocean will outweigh fish by 2050.